Hi, everybody! At the time of recording, something huge was announced during the Nintendo Direct. I don't usually care for these events, even the PlayStation ones, because it's very rare any games I'd actually be interested in get shown off. However, something I was expecting would be announced during EVO in Las Vegas next month was shown off, and I feel like I need to talk about it and what it could mean for the Capcom vs. series as a whole. So why did I say this would have been announced at EVO next month? This is partially because some of my sources had said this is when we'd see the collection of games announced. So while I'm surprised Capcom chose to announce it during the Nintendo Direct, I'm not surprised we're getting this collection. Which will include X-Men Children of the Atom, Marvel Super Heroes, X-Men vs. Street Fighter, Marvel Super Heroes vs. Street Fighter, the first two Marvel vs. Capcom games, and the Punisher beat-em-up. All around, a great collection. So what does this mean for Marvel vs. Capcom as a series going forward? I think this is a good indication we might see an MVC4 if this collection sells well. Unlike the Capcom fighting collection from a few years ago, we aren't exactly dealing with a dormant IP. The fighting collection had a ton of Darkstalkers games, which is a franchise that hasn't seen a new entry in over 27 years. Marvel vs. Capcom's last release, the much maligned Infinite came out in 2017. I can understand why people hated MVC Infinite so much, as it wasn't pretty to look at. Though I had heard from friends who were super into the IP that the gameplay was a lot of fun. Though some have also refuted that viewpoint as well. I haven't personally played the game as I wasn't into fighters all that much when it came out, and it never got a rollback netcode update, so playing it now would feel painful. If you want to learn more about rollback, then feel free to pause the video and read the description on screen now. But after the abysmal reception and sales for Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite, people had basically written the franchise off as a relic of the past. You have to remember, fighting games are not in a good place during the late 2010s. It's only in recent years we've seen the genre take on new life. It mostly comes down to the old adage of making good games. If you're consistently putting out good fighting games, or any type of game in general, then the general public will latch on. I'd also attribute some of the growth to fighters now respecting people's times more. What do I mean by that, though? Well, just look at Street Fighter VI and Tekken VIII. While I generally don't care for Street Fighter VI because it just didn't feel right to me, I can at least admire what Capcom did to make the game more accessible to newcomers. Tekken 8 has also done this too. It's to a point where fighting games are no longer for no-life sweat hogs who spend all of their time in their parents' basement, covered in Cheeto dust because of being too lazy to get real jobs. But anyways, what does this mean for Marvel vs. Capcom going forward? I'd say it's safe to assume if this sells well, which, let's be real, it will, we will eventually see a Marvel vs. Capcom 4. It just makes too much sense for both Capcom and Marvel. Right now, Capcom is in a good place, as they haven't screwed the pooch on too many titles lately, and Marvel is no longer in the driver's seat thanks to the shine finally coming off the Marvel Cinematic Universe. This is mostly thanks to mediocre release after mediocre release. That's what happens when you try too hard to cater to the normies. You alienate your core fanbase and you start to introduce more and more shitty content for the unwashed masses. But that's not all I think will happen. This next part of the video won't be about the Marvel vs. Capcom series, but instead another vs. franchise Capcom have under their belt. Want to hear more? Hit the subscribe button. The other series I'm referring to is of course Capcom vs. SNK. During the early 2000s, SNK and Capcom had a great working relationship, and this led to three games. Capcom vs. SNK Match of the Millennium, Capcom vs. SNK Mark of the Millennium 2001, and SNK vs. Capcom SVC Chaos. Of the two companies, Capcom got the better end of the deal as the Capcom vs. SNK side of things is still talked about to this day among fighting game fans. That should tell you something. SVC Chaos, on the other hand, that game was received poorly. 
though one could forgive SNK for that fact, as the company was essentially bankrupt, and can you really expect a company to make a good game with no budget and a limited time to get the game out? If SNK was given a chance to do things over again, they'd probably make one of the best fighting games of all time. This'll get me tarred and feathered in the comments, but I don't give a fuck. I'm an SNK guy. They're better at making fun fighting games than Capcom are, but that's beside the point. Now that Capcom and SNK have stopped acting like children fighting over whose turn it is to play the game, and are actively doing forms of collaboration, it's clear we're going to get a Capcom vs SNK collection next. I'm calling it now. In two years, that'll be the next collection we get from Capcom. Then probably another two years after that, we'll have a brand new Capcom vs SNK game. Tell me when I'm telling lies. And if you think I'm talking out my ass, then Shut your damn mouth. come back here in two years when I'm proven right. Because guess what? Both companies have said they have bloody interest in doing another Capcom vs SNK title in the future. Now is the perfect time to start developing it, since game development tends to take at minimum 5 years for most games. So yeah, I'm excited for this Marvel vs Capcom collection, I think it's indicative of some things Capcom might do. Thanks go out to my current channel members, R. Campbell and Danny Boy. If you'd like to help the channel out further, get exclusive content and early access to some videos, you can do so by hitting the join button or the link in the description. Want more of my fighting game content? Check out my reaction video to be Jenny's trailer that dropped during Summer Game Fest. Until next time, keep blazing that trail.